Hello. Yes. Okay. Hey, hey, shout out to all the listeners. This is another edition of In the Mix Mondays. It's your girl, Light and Lively. I'm here with my guest, DJ, for tonight. Mr. It's like his name is so DJ Club Killer CK1. Did I say it right? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So he does his thing. And tonight, I'm happy to have um, a guest also that I'm interviewing tonight. Um, and she has a book coming out called uh, Dreams, Love, and Music, yep. Miss out. Asia. Out. It's out, yeah. okay, so it's actually out, but we're gonna talk more with her in a few. So normally, I mean, you're new to the show, so what I normally do is a quick recap of what we did over the weekend. Mr. Club Killer is always busy, I already know. He was at what party and what party and what party? What party, I know you did the party, so. What did you do? This weekend, uh, um, well, my weekend starts Thursday. Yeah, Thursday I, he does the girls, which, the yeah, yeah, which oh, I, nice. I promise, you know, I got to hit yeah. up favor for favor, you know, he, yes. he comes yes, to me, yes, so yes. I know I got to go. <laughs> you, should, you should come with me. Yeah, yeah. let me know. The yeah. Grill Village every Thursday after work, 6 to midnight. Let me know, I love you some of the grills. Yeah, yes. I'm yes. still on MD. <laughs> Get a food and tea. Okay, no free advertising, but okay. So yeah. he's there, right. he's there Thursday. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm at Faluca right after, which is right around the corner, mm-hmm. 162 Bleecker Street. Nice. I do like 1 o'clock to closing over there. Okay. It's a hookah bar. I won't be hanging out that late because I, you know, the way my schedule's set up. <laughs> yeah. But then the girls thing, you know, we could probably yeah, manage let's that. Do that for real. Um, sure. Friday, I was off. Thank God because I needed some rest, but I didn't get much. Yeah, Saturday. Just busy all the time. Man, I can't remember where I was. Saturday, okay, Saturday I was in Jersey. To Jersey, a place called Tomahawk Lake, but okay. I didn't DJ there. But I to <laughs> sign contracts to DJ in Jamaica oh, oh. next year again. So, yeah, and I was mad because he was in Jamaica with Fourth of July weekend yeah. doing a in big, Jamaica. big party in Jamaica. Nice. Elephant Man and Genuine. Ooh, yeah. 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 Um, so the like pictures it. on IG, I was oh. like, really? And I couldn't go. But anyway, what was I doing for the. I was doing some. Oh, I was, was, I was in Florida. Was, I was on yeah, vacation. See, you that's all I was Florida, so you were yeah, too. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> but I would have. I would have rather went to Jamaica though. But right. it's okay. <laughs> so this weekend was a real chill weekend for me. Um, yesterday was the first annual Yak Radio um, Family Fun Day Sunday. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. I really did. So they had like basketball, soccer, like, all the kids, the face painting, mm-hmm. and. You know, there was a lot of stuff going on. Um, even though there was a lot of food, I really didn't eat because I I guess, you know, a lot of us were kind of running around helping like, oh, and, yeah. you know, making sure everybody had drinks and this and that and whatever. But, you know, so it, it was it was a lot of fun. So if you missed it, hopefully, God willing, next year, uh, you know, we could do it again. Yeah. yeah. And it was definitely, Sorry. yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, for you, we'll have more things. Saturday, I gotta say happy birthday to DJ Fresh. Um, you you remember DJ Fresh from Panache? Um, okay, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a birthday. It was really nice. It was so nice. Matter of fact, maybe we can recreate that. I'm gonna tell you later off air. Okay. But um, it was him and his sister Nadine. Happy birthday to you both, and happy birthday to my sister um, Tammy. She it's like all the, these Leos. It was everybody, you know, oh, nice. birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Leo season. Yeah, Leo season. <laughs> Turn up season. So um, I had a ball. It was an orange and white party theme. So it was nice. The, you know, I just had. It reminded me of back in the days, like the '90s, when they played a good reggae, like the old school. Yeah. It was real nice. So nice, nice, you know, nice. I damn near lost my mind. <laughs> so yeah, so I've been you know Saturday, Sunday, and then regular. Saturday. So it was cool. It was real cool. So that was pretty much the weekend. Maybe I'll get some rest uh, <laughs> coming up. So now um, for those new listeners, because I know we have a couple probably, yes. especially after yesterday and you know over the weekend. Mm-hmm. There's this thing that I usually do, um, you know, called set it off. I basically kind of vent and talk about things that get on my nerves or you know things that just kind of irk me now there's a couple so with that being said mr dj you know i have my theme music (laughs) yes yes all right here we go now everybody 
see, I'm gonna let you have your chance, right? So my first thing that kind of bothers me. Now, it's not that I don't cook, but you know, sometimes when you go out, you go to the restaurant, you want to get food, you know, you go to the Jamaican spot, or what's the name spot, whatever, Spanish, wherever. <laughs> Why is it? I don't understand. They give you all this rice. Uh -huh. Yo, can I get some meat right. on the plate? Yeah. They put all this rice, 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 right. rice, rice. I'm like, yo, you think maybe you would add another piece of chicken? Some meat. Or yeah. some meat, some more oxtail or something. So, you know, I just feel like I'm being, um, you know, cheated out of food. Mm -hmm. And not that I'm greedy, but I maybe I am a little, but still, you know. Rice is cheaper. Right. Yeah, rice, rice is, cheaper is cheap. Meat. And it makes you gain more weight, so you're like. Exactly. Yeah, but. Yeah. You know, throw some more sweet potato, yam, yeah, some cabbage or something, you know, but you it's like. Ask. No, but they need no, no, they be acting like it's no, like no. uh I'm just gonna offer because sometimes I'm looking, I'm like, look, I'll pay you extra for some more meat and that you know that's gonna always work. That's you know second. I mean, I mean but, ask you know, at first, you're, you're you know, you're buying food, you want you let them know like, can you give me a little one more like meat damn it, if you don't like, want me to jump over the counter, look. No, initially they're gonna they're gonna fill it up with rice on purpose just No, to, but that's the first thing they put in. Yeah. It's like yeah. the first thing they put in and then and then they mash things you with the gravy too. So if you don't right. ask them, right. it's like, can, now I gotta eat dry ass rice too. Can, can I get some? But then again, you know how that's an island thing? Don't island people just love rice, rice and peas? Yeah, yeah, but um, you know, everything in moderation. But you, it's, it's not, it's not even. It's not even. Yeah, exactly. The portions are not even. <laughs> you know, it's just way too much rice and not enough meat. So that's one. Now, um, okay, here's another thing. At the event yesterday. Now, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm fair, I think, and I'm pretty much open about a lot of things. So we're at this location, um, Breezy Point. And it was called Breezy Point for a reason because it was mad breezy, like breezy. Yeah. I like, they they uh, named it like they Chris. named it after yeah. <laughs> it was super breezy. So you know, there's a beach nearby. Mm. So you know, there's a, a restroom area, but it's not really meant. I I don't think it was meant for the beach per se. So this woman, like you know, I take the kids to go to the bathroom. She all exposed, got her, you know, breast. She's like, oh, excuse me. I'm like, yo, really? Really? Now, you're not even inside the bathroom. You're outside standing behind the door, the entrance to the bathroom. And I'm like, okay, so if you wanted to wash off, I, I don't know. Oh, she's what washing. She, she was like trying to, so she got all her, wow. and she was a, a, a big woman. Like a really, really Ooh. big woman. So you got all of this. And like, yo, there's kids around. Like, right. what you doing? You know what I'm saying? You ain't breastfeeding or nothing. You cover yourself up. Anyway, it's like, good lord, now, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. So, yeah, y'all need to just kind of be more aware there's other people around and stuff. And the last thing, I, and then I'll, I'll move on. I'll let you guys, if you have something you want to say about whatever. But I'm not a morning person. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. A lot of people don't know that about me, but even though I'm technically awake, doesn't mean that I'm up. <laughs> so some people, <laughs> he's laughing over <about> what <laughs> I'm saying. So you know, in the morning, the people who just gotta be real loud for no reasons. Why are you so loud? It's like mad early in the morning. Can you please shut the hell up? Like I don't want to hear all that. Right. It's too early for me. Right. It's way too early. So you know, you go to work, and you know, I'm trying to be, you know, diplomatic. Like, get <laughs> trying to pick yourself day. up. And then there's always gotta be that one person loud as hell, and you, I'm just like, yo, for real, is it that serious? Like, why do you have to be so loud mm -hmm. that early in the morning? It's not even nine o'clock yet. Seriously, like this, I'm gonna need you to calm it down, because that kind of puts me in a, a more annoying mood. Yeah, they probably had like two coffees. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> like, can you calm the down coffee. just a little bit? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's it. That's that's pretty much it. I mean, you know. <laughs> I don't I don't know if anybody else wants to chime in. Anybody wanna get anything off their chest? Um oh, the I see you ladies first. Um, first. I don't got nothing right now, but I'm sorry to think of something. No, I'm, I'm good. I, you know what? I, I got it. I'm thankful. I'm in a good place right now. I don't have anything to get. I, I got it all. I got it all off my chest. 
in the midst of writing. So I'm good. Yes, I can't yes. really. I can't. I really. I don't have any complaints right now. Thank God. Well, that's good. I you, you know, know. They like to say I'm always angry. I'm not um, really angry, but you know, just you know, yes, you are. I'm not. It's just things that happen. You know. I mean, you know. I mean, okay. So let me let me let me go let me go back. <laughs> One thing that that you know people, everybody want what they want. Everyone wants what they want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone wants what they want. And they don't know how to look outside of what what they want to kind of, like, balance it out. Mm-hmm. Like, it's two of us. I want something, you want something. But everyone always, like, one track on compromise. I think that's what it is. Like, the one track mind of people. Oh, I have a what story for about? you, but I will tell you that on the end because I, I don't want to blow I think that's my, my little thing, like, oh, my gosh, why can you only see one way? Like, it's right. a two-way. Like fear is fear. You know what I mean? Yeah, Life is yeah. a two-way street. Compromise. Like, got you. You know, that, you know that, that, I think that that's, like, the thing. Like, I hope the listeners heard that because, you know, I hope somebody's listening, but I'm not going to say who, but, um, oh, man, it's getting crazy out there. No, it's just, like, um, based off what you're saying, sometimes you, you're having a conversation with somebody, mm-hmm. and you're talking to them, and because you don't say something the way they want you to exactly. say it, exactly, it's a problem. They don't even know how to move forward in the conversation. They want to stop the conversation and say, um... <laughs> oh, yeah, they want to stop the conversation. And say, but well, why would you say it like that? Why don't you say? Well, why would we move forward? I said it how I said it. But you didn't focus like, on nothing positive. I right. said, but just because you didn't hear yeah, the way you wanted to exactly. hear. Exactly. I think that's just like, yeah. closed mindedness. You know. Mm-hmm. Can I get an amen? Okay, so <laughs> like you gotta break down a brick wall just to have a conversation, basically. Anyway, so yeah, I find myself in these situations many times with people, mm-hmm. certain people, just taking things totally to the left the yeah. wrong way and I don't know what happens and I, I'm just like it can't be me all the time it really really can't but anyway um okay that's pretty much it for my set it off for today and um right now um what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick musical break and um when we come back we're gonna talk more with Asia about dreams love and music which is a great title and for those of you listening the number to call in once we start talking if you want to say hello to asia if you want to you know comment on uh you know anything that i said about the (laughs) set it off oh i forgot (laughs) i forgot i have to set it off on um dre for man law because You know, at the Yak Radio Barbecue, you know, they had a tug of war situation between the kids, like the boys and the girls. Yeah. So somebody is a sore loser and could not really stand to see the boys lose to the girl. So this this grown adult wants to jump into the tug of war with the kids. I'm just like, really, really, Dre? Take the L, okay? You can take the L. You just, you know need to just chuck it up and you know it's okay to lose sometimes and the thing is it's it's funny because you see all the little all the little kids and then you see him <laughs> and he's like real tall but anyway okay so we're gonna i'm, I'm done I'm, now i'm really done i'm, I'm done i forgot <laughs> that so the phone number is 877 1422 and um, we're gonna get into it. Well, DJ Club Club, I don't know what you got for us, but I know something good. He always, you know, does his thing. And we'll be right back in a few minutes. <laughs> 